I didn't believe any of it. But it's all true. Ah, they found me. Apparently, we have gone in a completely different direction for this version of Haunted Hotel. Hi, I'm Fate Touch, and this is me playing games. And that was the opening for Haunted Hotel 6, Ancient Bane. It looks like we have retconned again, as the last game we played in the Haunted Hotel was two warring factions fighting in a hotel. And the one before that was... H.P. Lovecraft version, where we were trying to save our brother from Cthulhu cult. And then the first three games, there was a time-traveling conspiracy and no ghosts. Maybe this time we're actually going to be haunted, because so far, no hauntings. I guess we'll find out. Uh, let's see now. What do we need to do first? We need to house... No ghosts. Well, I don't know. He looked sort of ghostly. Whoever he is. Okay. Oh, that's right. This one is older than we were playing um, Halloween Chronicles, which are modern games. As a matter of fact, the one we played last was 2019. And based on that, there was customized uh, mode. But it looks like in this version, we have moved from only casual and hard to casual advanced and hard. I mean, we're still doing casual, but yeah, it's nice that we're finally moving forward in time, as well as in retcons. The reopening of an old hotel caused an uproar, bought by the little-known mechanical engineer, Abram Shadowy. It became very popular, <laughs> despite initial skepticism. In fact, Shadowy used the hotel's reputation as an asset, promising guests they'd see real ghosts. How's that for a good fright sleep? My friend, I need your help again. I've been asked to investigate a disappearance at a reportedly haunted hotel. I can't do it without you, James. After an hour aboard our little steamship, we finally arrived. Sorry, I was drinking water during the uh, opening and the name of the dude kind of made me almost do a spit take. Here we have James, our Mentor who does nothing. Oh, I can lock the thing open again. Yes. Okay. So apparently we are not completely retconning. This is going to be the same hotel we were at last time, except this time it's actually haunted question mark. We'll see. Hello, dear. It's so good to see you. I enjoy working with you. More importantly, we make an excellent team. Psh. The owner of the hotel, a Mr. Abraham Shadowy, requested my help. <laughs> Several of his guests have vanished. What a surprise. I'm not sure why our host isn't here to meet us. It's highly unusual. Eh, but no matter. We're adept to this sort of thing. Look in my briefcase for something we can use here. I'll get a look at that lock. No, I do not want a tutorial. When he says we, he means the royal we, because I'm the only one who ever does anything in this partnership. His hair did get worse, but at least it's shorter. I don't know. Did something fall in the water? I'm not sure how deep it is. I shouldn't stick my hands in. Why are your hands gonna get trapped if the water's too deep? <sighs> I could use this impression to make a cast. Why would I want to do that? Acid water. There is, for those of us just joining us, a running theme in these games that you are not allowed to do anything with your hands. Because if your hands get dirty or wet or maybe slightly abraded, then I guess you die. I, I haven't quite figured it out yet. There's a key. There was a shadowy thing. 
It's latched from the inside, but the gap's not wide enough for my hand. Did we just get out of this boat? Isn't that how we got here? Can I use a key? No. It looks like we are going with a steampunk theme this time. Without a key, I'll have to improvise. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Wait, what was that? Was that a ghost? Probably not. We haven't seen any ghosts yet. It's no surprise the lantern has gone dark. It's pretty wet here. It's fair. I mean, the candle's still lit, but... Okay, let's see what he brought this time to help us in our quest. Oh yeah, definitely more steampunky. Notice the goggles. All right, let's see. Number, key ring, and five lock picks. Do I need badges? Okay, yeah. Let's see, a battery, a revolver, and two police badges. They have batteries in steampunk universe? That's interesting. Steampunk is like Victorian. They didn't have batteries back then, did they? Like, not like double A batteries. You know what I mean? Like, I think they might have had like, wait, why can't I use that there? Oh, I wasn't pointing in the right spot. Like, I'm sure they like made up some sort of battery type thing, but I'm pretty sure they were like car battery sized, not like the kind that go in a flashlight. All right, we also need tweezers, flask, and a watch and a handprint. The handprint's right there. Maybe I can reprint it. Despite all predictions, Haunted Hotel is gaining popularity. They didn't even name it something this time. They just named it Haunted Hotel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wait, am I supposed to get something on here? No, maybe not. Okay. See, that looks like a steampunk battery. I think that's some sort of fuse, though. 1800s. I bet it wasn't triple A sized though. I knew they were kind of old. I just figured that they weren't like powering flashlights. You know what I mean? But who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. All right. What are we missing? Lockpick, tweezers, flask. I saw the flask like eight times. That's a flask. Psh. That's a flask too. Am I missing something? Watch. No, I looked at you like eight times. Why is neither of those things a flask? That's a canteen. Ay, ay, ay. We're gonna start here, are we? Okay, tweezers, and we need one more lock pick. Where are you? That's a glass cutter. I bet we'll need that too. We could probably use a magnifying glass. Yeah, I know, but that's not what that was. It was a canteen. All right, we have one of two key rings. We have a marble and a glass leaf. Nicely done. You found the lock picks, and I have one more. Choose a unique lock pick from the set, and I'm sure it will do the trick. Okay, I don't, stop giving me a tutorial. I already told you I don't want a tutorial. However, this is interesting. We now have plus items. No, I don't want a tutorial. Plus items are when you can do something with an item in your inventory. All right, we have to find the one that doesn't have a match because that's how lock picks work. These look like they could be actual lock picks at least, I guess, as opposed to some of the other ones. However, you don't, that's not really how they work. Well, this is a fairly good rendition of the last time we were here. It's vaguely similar. I don't think there were stairs last time, but it's kind of got the same shape. See how it's easy. Why did they fly in the house? Weird. It's very easy to scare birds away. You don't need specific items to scare birds. Oh, it looks like we still need something for that one. This place looks very mysterious. 
I, I can practically feel spirits through the walls. Why was I invited here? Why did you write that down and then seal it and attach your invitation to it? Weird. There were no angel statues last time. Last time there was a fountain. I Look is associated with darkness, obscurity, and night, but he was also associated with dawn, often called the bringer of light. Is that a cat bat? He's cute. Like that. What just happened? Oh, I guess I'm going to be finding a bunch of Egyptian things. I didn't realize this had an Egyptian theme. Huh. I can't see well enough to make out the details. Okay. I can't reach, but it looks like it's made of some kind of metal. All right. There's nothing to ring with. Okay, so the bell is missing its ringer. I think... Wait, can't I go back? Okay, there we go. You're right! I didn't even notice! Like, piles of dirt. We're allergic to them in these games most of the time. I, I've i not really figured that out before. What is this? A screw. What do I need over here? Oh, I need something thin there. And this is to open the lantern for some reason. Okay. Can't I open it? No, I just put a glowy thing on it for no reason. Sure. Okay. Oh, and I need something to get that out of the water. And something to make a mold out of that for some reason. So, nothing I can do there. What do we need over here? Oh, that's part of the thing we need the mold for. It looks like a very not friendly angel. And I need a net. I could probably use this as like a net backing if I only want to get one thing. I have a feeling this location helps the creepiness factor quite a bit. All right. Right. Well, let's look at our map. I'm here. The current task is over here. Sure, so what am I supposed to be doing? I shouldn't stick my hands in the water. I don't know why, but I shouldn't. I don't understand this. Am I supposed to like... What? How do I... I put the little seal thing. Shouldn't it open so I could grab the candle? Oh. Nope. Not how lanterns work. Candles. That's also not how lanterns work. <sighs> we could have just taken the candle out. We didn't have to fix the glass. The glass is clear. It's not like it's mirrored. It's not going to enhance the light at all. It will just keep it from blowing out if it's windy, and it doesn't look very windy. <laughs> Great! I can't wait to see Abraham. Who's Abraham? By the way, I found this while exploring the area. I want you to have it, my friend. You just randomly came across a package and you're going to give it to me? <laughs> His hair is pretty skanky, I will have to admit. What the actual heck? Thousands of years ago, the Traveler expelled the darkness. With the Amulet of Light in his hand and bravery in his heart, he defeated the tyrant but then the amulet was lost, awaiting its rebirth. And you just found this in, like, the bushes? Oh, Amy's the shadow guy, right. Huh. Oh, I bet the marble goes in here. Wait, over here? No? Maybe not. Okay, sure. Can I use that? I could just 
bang on the bell with it, or the handle of the paintbrush, actually. All right, let's scoop up this thing, which was not very deep by the looks of it. And that is the clapper for the bell. That is not a loud bell. <laughs> Detective, I'm glad you're here. I'm eager to get to the bottom of this. <clears throat> we were expecting you, Detective, but you shouldn't have brought your assistant. What? What? Hey, that was Abraham Shadowy, the owner of the hotel. He's supposed to be well-respected, an engineer. But he's acting strangely, don't you think? <laughs> and where did he go? Let's split up so we can find him at once. <laughs> he's disappeared in a puff of smoke. He's acting strangely. Where did he go? And what the heck is all this nonsense? There is a filing cabinet attached to a rope to the ceiling for no reason. Ew, spider webs. That I will admit I would like to brush away before I stick my hand in. I just need rope, okay? And a scissor, and then I need something to clean the paint off the wall, and a piece of rope. He... Yeah, it was so weird when he vanished in a blow of smoke. <laughs> okay, then. I've never seen a clock like this before. Yeah, definitely going for the steampunk vibe. Ooh, what's this? He's a bug. Yeah, it's... It's does I mean, now to be fair, it might be really heavy, but probably not. This looks like a scarab beetle, or it's supposed to be a scarab beetle. That is all hieroglyphs on there. I assume this is taking place in like old timey New England or England, England. I'm not entirely sure. What's with the Egyptian stuff? There's a fire, some luggage. What's this, this mechanical scarab is my greatest invention yet. It's like having an extra set of hands. How did I get along without him? Unfortunately, he became damaged during an experiment, but I don't have time to repair him right now. Aw, we get to fix the bug. Okay, missing a thingy. What is all this? The hotel owner's so strange. I'm curious about this story, and yet I don't trust that man one bit. People just leaving notes around with their random thoughts in them. Ooh, a spring. Ah, uh, yeah, that's fair. Those look really pointy. Let's put the bug spring in there. Okay, now we just need another wing. And... I could lift this using the pulley. You could just... You're probably right. Oh, well, that would be cool if he was our friend and, like, permanently our friend instead of in our inventory. Eventually, when you have, like, a helper character, it'll end up sitting, like, next to your menu button or next to your hint button. I could spend an hour untying this. Or I could just crawl underneath. Scissor blade. It's not useless without the other half. It's still sharp. All right, why do I need a magnet? What's over here? Oh, I can get a magnet with that. What is it? Another wing for the scarab, conveniently. Yes, I know you make lobsters, or make the joke about lobsters every time. I understand. Okay, so now we have a scarab that doesn't really look like a scarab. But he is covered in Egyptian hieroglyphs, so that's pretty cool. All right. Oh, can we open this with the scissor? We totally could. That is skinny enough. Not going to let me do it, though. Really? Could have used the scissor. Barb. 
marbles. There's a marble. There's a scissor. I guess we need one more marble. Another hat for James. I guess he brought an extra. Sheriff's badge. Inkwell and plaster. We need something to open that. All kinds of wanted posters. What kind of barge is this? Cloth. Okay, something obviously fits here. Yeah, but why can't I pick it up? What do these control? Probably the boat. That would be my guess. It might be James's boat. If it is, he's not a very tidy person, is he? Well. Alright, let's see. What else did I get? Uh, so I guess we can use the towel... Oh, I'm not going to burn the extra half and buy shampoo. <laughs> when was shampoo invented? <laughs> that didn't work the way I hoped. Why can't I use that to clean that? Oh, I need the screw. Yes, I do. Wait, what's going on here? Oh, I have to be very precise, apparently. Okay, and now I can use that to cut that. Could have done it with just one side, but that's fine. 1927. Okay, so they didn't have shampoo. That explains some things. What was that? I should look around. That's what we were doing. I don't want to accidentally trickle, trigger something. I'll switch on the lights first. The wires have been cut. Okay. I think that was a pretend ghost. Why did that... Why is that a thing? What the heck? It's a mist monster! That's actually been pretty consistent, even though it's generally not had anything to do with the plot. It's screwed on tightly. Why is there a fan blade screwed, screwed to the record player? Ooh, look, creepy animals. It's one of those creepy monkeys. Wait, am I supposed to? Oh, okay. I thought I was supposed to cut the strings. The music did get really loud. There. The heck was up with that? They have a fountain up here. That's a little weird. Oh no, is it spooky in the water? I have a feeling that someone is following me. Is it Mr. Shadowy? I can't believe they named the guy Mr. Shadowy. Something's missing. There's something on the bottom. But I don't want to put my hands in the water. Heaven forbid. Oh, what's this? Thoth. Known as the scribe for the judgment of the dead, Thoth is also the god of knowledge and writing. Thoth is usually depicted with a baboon or ibis head. Yeah, I'd never seen him with the baboon one. That's interesting. No, I don't want to look at the room. Bizarre. Okay. Pen butterfly hand. Pen butterf- wow, creepy fish. That's not a butterfly. That was not a butterfly. Uh, that's a pencil. Butterfly. What was the other thing I was looking for? Hand. That's a cool hand. Sun dragonfly. And three skulls. One. Another pencil. Two. There's a bee. Poor bee. There's a turtle. I probably shouldn't say turtle. Oh, I need three pencils. I'm wondering why I kept seeing pencils. A shawl and a pen. Oh, I already said pencil. Birds and a turtle. There's a turtle. I, need to I want the bee to come out. I can't fit my fingers inside. How can I get it out? With a tweezer. Do I need a bee? Oh, I do need a bee. Not sure why I need a dead bee, but...
Oh, there's a bird. Shawl? That's not really a shawl, that's a robe. That was not a shawl. It was a handkerchief. Oh dear. Okay, so maybe we are not actually looking for a pen, a skull, skull, and a pencil. No, there's the sun. Okay. We need another pencil. They know what pencils are. Where's the last? There it is. Pencil. And another skull and a pen. That's the skull. Here's the pen. That's a, that's a pin, not a pen. Boy, not translated well, this one. Ooh, pipe dreams. Do I have all the pieces? Figures. I was invited here by Abram Shadowy to solve an ancient mystery. I wonder what secrets are hiding in this hotel. It's Abraham. Abram is spelled differently. Seems to be locked. I don't even see a lock. Okay. Oh, right. I don't have the piece for this. Right. So I have, oh, I have plaster. I could make that plaster mold. And I think um, I, this is the other half of it. Why is there an, imp whoa, what was all that about? Why is there an impression of this on the beach though? Like, to start with. Is that for this? Yeah. And what is this? A mechanism part. That must be for this. No? Oh. No, I guess we didn't. Well, I mean, there was water right there, so I'll give them that to kind of save time. But yeah, usually you have to mix the plaster with the water. You can't just have it adjacent to the water. Oh, I miss this. Someone's been tampering with the phone, or is it just a decoration? Hard to say. Uh, still can't use that on there? No. Whoa! What the heck? That was me that time. Oh, can I use this on the branches? Good. I would say, why do you have thorny bushes like that right next to your house? But at my last house, I had a bush out front for like four or five years and I kept pruning it because I thought it was a rose bush and it wasn't, it was just a pricker bush. <laughs> I need to know what number to dial. All right, that's fair. I need a key for that. I know it was very pointy and I thought it was a rose bush, which is why I didn't cut it down. <laughs> nope, it was a pricker bush. <laughs> Wisdom and intelligence are different stats, kids. Uh, I want to go to the boat. There's the boat. Marble! Oh! Sorry, you need to give me more time than that. Blue, red, blue, orange, orange. Blue, red, blue, orange, orange. Was I close? Ah, oh, I was close. I was one off. There we go. Why would you hide your electrical tape like that? How does that help for, for anyone? Okay. I guess we'll just warp back. Because now we have... I forgot where we need to go. We need to go over here. Yep, in here. Okay. Good. Connected the correct wires to the correct wires. Dude, what kind of lights you got in that hallway? Aha! Wait, what was all that about? I know this place is designed to be some kind of high-tech haunted house, but I couldn't help but jumping at the figure in the hallway. Just to be safe, I should turn on the lights first. I already did that. Why do I want to switch it back on? 
so I can scare myself on accident again. Which is exactly what I would do. I know. Wait, I right. I did. Is that what I was supposed to do? I should probably read the directions. Adjust the mirrors to reflect the beam of light towards the upper left corner. Select any mirror to turn it. Okay, so. Why is it keeping me here? I can do that. I can do that. I have to do that. I have to go there. But this one has to go there. This one. There we go. What? What just happened? Why did the... What? What? Even though that ghost I saw was nothing but metal frame with cloth, it was convincing in the darkness. However, this isn't a simple scare prank. You'd have to be talented mechanic to rig something like this. How did the film camera burn up the clothes? And why do we light so many things on fire in these games? Solvent and whatever that is, an amulet. I bet there's something useful in this box. Oh, uh, we need like a Allen wrench or something. Why don't... I try to unscrew it because I do not have a screwdriver. What can I do with this glass? Hit it with something! No? Well, I mean, our friend James had a... I see. Our friend James had a glass cutter in his case, but I imagine I'm not allowed to go back there and get it. Each lock opens on its own. What's that supposed to mean? What am I supposed to do here? I don't know. Don't ask me. All right. So we have two pieces of broken record, the amulet, the bug rag, scissors. Oh, I can go clean off the mirror, which probably has a phone number on it? Question mark. It'd probably be better if you doused the rag, but I guess that would work. Make a giant mess. Well, that would be a phone number if it had one more number in it. It's time to test my memory. It's nice I know where to use this number already, which I assume is the telephone, except there's one number. That's cheating, but thank you. <laughs> Especially since it's a freaking rotary phone. Three, two, four, seven, one, nine. Rotary phone sucked. Glass cutter! Ooh, I bet this thing goes here. What is it a picture of? Huh. Thank you, Op Punk. Didn't I just pick the top up? It's not like it's attached. Alright, we have a room key and vintage. Oh, those are the same scissors we had before. Wait, was there something else in there? Oh, it went right in here. Okay. Huh. So I guess let's check out... Seems to be locked, but I don't even see a lock on it. Oh. Oh, this must be the black mist. The black smoke covering the second floor hall troubles me. It's not scary, but I'm not sure what it could be masking what it could be masking just beyond another trap like the knives the knives we have to be careful what knives did we run into knives huh okay i guess this key is for there okay oh no it's a dude this is Henry, the historian who left several of those notes. Oh, is this Henry? We've got to help him. Well, what's wrong with him? All right, missing pieces. Ooh, fun things to play with. I want the mace. Or hammer, rather. Record piece. Oh, I thought that was a board with a nail in it. I mean, it is a board with a nail in it, but it's for, um... You wanna go get that for me? No? I thought this was like a bat with a nail in it, is kind of what I was thinking. 
I can't, how do I reach it? Or you could send a little bug to get it. Totally defeats the pur purpose of having a bug if I can't use it for things. Okay, so just the unconscious dude and I need something long to get the thing. And I have another piece of this. And a handle. Oh, that's probably for the jack-in-the-box. Yes? Yes! That was on- It's a jack-in-the-box! That's exactly what they're supposed to do! How's that unexpected? <laughs> ay ay ay. Alright, we need one more of those. I don't know why you'd have a big fountain like that, like, on your second store walk-up, but... Sure, why not? Ooh, can I use this to unscrew the fan blade? Nope. Oh no, that's the button eye for the bunny rabbit. Okay. He's holding something, but he's also missing something. He probably needs a scythe. I don't have anything for that. I could hit the darkness with the board there. All right, let's go put these two things in place. Oh, I'm only missing two. I thought I was missing three. These games are the worst. It's like freaking busy work. Unless you get unless you get super lucky, you're not gonna get it the first time and you just stop. And you're just gonna have to keep pushing them over and over again until you get the right combination. It's not skill, it's just quantities of patience I don't possess very often. I need to use my patience. That's interesting. On my children. Instead. Oh, there's a wing. Oh. I was going to say, that doesn't go on that cat. That goes on the bird. That wasn't an angel. That was a bird. That might have been a Egyptian god, but it definitely was not an angel. Okay, I got distracted. Belt, feather, and three combs. Belts... Feather and three combs. One. Here's another turtle. So. I'm not entirely sh what? The sound is getting staticky. Do you mean when I clicked on something? Or was it just your game? I mean computer. Oh, okay. All right, what was I looking for? Bicycle handle and two cog wheels. Huh, that's weird. I didn't hear anything on my end. That's a tricycle, not a bicycle. Handle. Shackle eye. Oh, there we go. No, there we go. A comb, a shackle, and a bat. What kind of bat? That was, that was an earring. Definitely got some translation problems with this version. Okay, so what do they think is a comb? I bet they think this brush is a comb. Yes! Good, now I have to figure out where the bat is. Where is the bat? Wait. Weird. No, no, no! What? What's it? What's it? Nice to help, James. So it was Abraham Shadowy all along. <laughs> Where did he take this man? Could he have been Henry Spinner, the historian supposedly staying in the hotel? 
I don't like this one bit. We need to find Mr. Shadowy as soon as possible. I have a few questions for him. By the way, I found this. Why did both of us just stand there and let him drag that guy through the bookcase? That would have taken enough time that we could have hit him with something or both jumped him or at least followed after him quickly. And our detective friend is not a great detective if he just figured out that he's the bad guy. Ay, ay, ay. No, no, that's still that. Okay. Uh, James is the worst detective. Okay, so I got a handle. What do I need a handle for? Not over here. Forget what's up here. Oh no, that I need a screwdriver. That I need another gem. Maybe a handle for the door? No, I didn't think so. Alright, let's see where we need to be. We need to be... Current task is in the hallway. Well, I can't do this yet. This is done. This is done. Oh, handle for the door. Okay, remember how they were worried about the knives? I think these are the knives, and they just didn't put it in the right order. <laughs> because these are definitely knives, and they definitely need to uh, be dealt with. I'll get electrocuted. Correct. Good job. I can't go any further with those knives floating in the air. It's fair. I don't know what you think we're going to be able to do about that. Can I make the bug go in the room? No. Okay. I have a little baby sight. That is for the upstairs. Oh, there you are. This situation is becoming more complex. What troubles me most is that we don't know what's behind this door. That's what troubles you most? What about the dude kidnapping guys? That's what troubles me most. Ooh, a gold feather. Wait, I wanted to look at the oh, stupid thing. Why do I need a golden feather? Oh, uh, there was an inkwell somewhere. Where was the inkwell? Not here. Oh, on the boat. That's not how inks work. That's not how quills work. That's not how paper works. <sighs> also, that is like solid gold or brass or something. That wouldn't like absorb that much ink. I would have been better just pouring the ink on the paper like straight up. What's in the box? An Allen wrench. Fair thing to keep in a box, though I don't know why you'd keep it locked like that. Lucky it happens to be exactly the right size. That is a fuse, a rubber glove. They're completely rusted. So I picked up lots of other weird stuff. Oops, wrong way. What on earth is this? Okay, I have no idea. What is this? Lower all of the knives by swapping and moving each magnet above and below them. Select and drag a magnet to swap it with another one. It's not a ghost. We have yet to find a ghost. Right, um, okay. Sure, so, nothing seems to be moving. Like, did you see any of the knives move while I was doing any of this? Or just walking with each magnet, them. I mean, I moved the around. Shouldn't, like, something happened? Maybe they're all the same ones on the same side? Okay, 
Okay, um, huh. Reset them. I'm gonna try this. This one, every space. Anything. Let's do something. All these spaces should be correct. It's just random. That's dumb. Okay, and they are right across from each other. So what if I just do that? Do you guys both need to go It's probably not the top of the bottom. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Ta-da. That's not some parlor trick. It's dangerous. Duh. It appears that magnets hidden in the floor and ceiling cause the cutlery to appear to float in midair. Only a skilled mechanic could have installed these. Regardless, I have something for you. For when you run into more broken objects. That a disparaging remark. I don't break stuff. The game won't let me. I can't grab it with my bare hands. I could hit it with the thing. No? Fine. What's going on over here? It's jammed in the crack. How can I get it out? With a nail and a stick. Hey, where'd the nail go? Beam. Okay. I guess... I could attach something to this. It's pretty old. I should cut it open? Why? It's perfectly good chair. I mean, now it's not. Yeah, all right. Why does it keep doing that? Every once in a while it pauses, like, for no reason. I can't see you well enough to make out the details. All right, it's fair. Okay, right. Well, we have the gem, so let's go do the gem thing. Look all the puzzles in this game. Wait. Oh, you're not going to make me zoom in, huh? What am I supposed to do here? Place the upper and lower colors so they vertically mix to create the middle row of colors. Oh, so like red and yellow make orange. Okay. That makes sense. And pink, um, green here. Ta-da! Okay. And what is this? Huh. I don't know what that is. Okay, so now we have a wood-based bass relief. I don't remember where that goes. I'm gonna play the Pipe Dreams game. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to be. Okay. What could be causing this? I need the fan blade. All right. Grew the green thing together. What green thing? This? Wait, stop that. I mean, I can glue this together. Except in your inventory. Yeah, it, it's a record. Except you can't glue records together. I have to glue it together right side up? Are you serious? It's round. <sighs> okay. For those of you who have never had a record, you can't glue records together. Like you can't glue, glue a Blu-ray together. If you try and then it spins, it will just break again. You will never get it level. There will always be glue places you need there to not be glue. Not a thing. And if a record is cracked, you can't play it. Okay. That was weird. Where was that? Thingy, dude. Oh, it's in the boat. No, that's the dining room. Where's the inside of the boat? There it is. It's over here. Matches! A whole bunch of them. That I only use one. Alright, now we have to go back where we were, which is upstairs. Yes? No. Where were we? Yeah, no, I was upstairs. That wasn't where we need to be, though. We need to go in here, because that's where it was dark. That is a full box of matches. Give it back. Why can't I keep the matches? It used to be holding something, I guess. That's not a utility knife, that's a file! This game has slightly more language issues than the last one. 
utility knife. Can't grab it with my bare hands. I mean, I could hit it with that. What do I need this for now? No. Oh. Set. At first, Set was worshipped as the god of the wind and sandstorms, but later he became vilified in a story where he murdered Osiris, his brother. Wouldn't the god of sandstorms be a bad thing? Not real into Egyptian lore, but wind sounds good, sandstorm sounds bad. Ah, yes, we're going to clean the rust off the nippers with the utility knife. <sighs> I don't think any of those things would work, but... I know it wouldn't work if it was a utility knife. I can use it to get this. Oh, I can use it to get the hammer. <sighs> those are not bolt cutters. Those are nippers. They would not cut through that. <laughs> We can't. He got behind the bookcase while we stood there and stared at him for two minutes straight. We need to go back in here. We're going to pound on this with this gigundo hammer, huh? A scepter. That's very cool, but it doesn't look overly Egyptian. It looks like somebody made up a scepter. Counter key. Oh, I forgot the counter needed a key. That is a really big keyhole. Bizarre. All right. Chocolate matches and three bulbs. One. Two. Chocolate. I have lots of chocolate. Three. And matches. We just had a box of matches and you took it away from me, jerks. Uh, what else? Uh, clipboard, a hook, and three tablets. That's not a tablet, that's a clipboard. Every frame needs a picture, okay. You have lots of chocolate too! Yay, chocolate for everybody! Oh, what was that supposed to be? I don't know. Oh, the clipboard, that was tablets, okay. Good, I was confused. When they said tablets, they meant medication tablets. A hook, flower, Revolver, a glove, a shuttlecock, and we need a framed photo and an elephant. So where, is this the photo? Yes. And an elephant. Really? How about birdie? Is that better? My kids ha uh, have a birdie that um, my mom gave them, and it lights up in the dark so you can play badminton in the dark <laughs> elephant oh that's a cool elephant a hook am i going to use it to kill james probably not i don't know what i need a hook for oh i can use it to open this yes Really? Okay. I'm gonna put that on there. It's just gonna stick to the top. Can I use this on that? Oop. Right, that's to get the doodly what's it's then. Uh, where am I? Up here? No. Down here. How did they get the hook to stick to the thing? A screwdriver! Screwdrivers, I know we can use. And then I can play the pipe dream game. Oh, they let me keep the screwdriver. That was nice of them. They actually let me keep the screw screwdriver in a couple of these games. Okay. What's with the... Oh, that's a cloud. I was thinking that was the thinking thing. Wait, can I move these? Oh, excuse me. Now I got hiccups. Great. All right, let me read the directions. Create a path with the pipes from the vacuum cleaner to the smoke. Be sure to include all of the fans in your path. You don't have to use every pipe. Okay. So, 
Well, it's already wrong. Yep. Nope. There we go. Okay. I sucked the evil smoke monster up in the vacuum cleaner! Ta-da! Ooh, was that dynamite back there? Smoke bombs! Lame! The smoke machine installed on the floor was equipped with a dye supplier that turned the smoke look... Wait. That turned the smoke look black and sinister. Someone definitely trying to hide something. So that wasn't a monster either. Lame. Ooh, that looks like it might be a ghost. He is here, Master. But there's someone with him. I know. Prepare the shroud. I'll deal with it. I hate to break it to you, but we don't care if you have James. <laughs> are you all right? Something strange is going on in that hotel, but oh I'm not sure gosh. the claims that it's haunted are bona fide. I saw what appears to be mechanical ghosts. However, the one in that room didn't seem to be a fake. We better investigate. By the way, take this, please. He gave me a bullet and a key to... I guess that boat is his. Why do you want to do a knock-knock joke? Why must you? Ooh, a gun. Nice. Who's there? Dishes. Dishes who? Dishes are really bad joke. Boy, you're right. I have to say. All right, so apparently this is James's boat. Since wait, what do I have still down here? Our main character is not that bright, but she is brighter than James. Cool. I bet I could open it without a handle. That looks like it's easy to break through, actually. Oh, that was gunpowder. Convenient thing to leave on the edge of a door. Can I shoot it? No. Lame. All right, where do you want me to go now? Wait, what do I need to do up here? We're not shooting James. He's the main character, apparently. What am I supposed to be doing up here? I'm just gonna shoot at the door. It doesn't have a handle. Okay, sure, why not? I need to launch the game first? I guess I need clock hands or something. Wait, now what? I have to load the gun. With what? I don't have anything to load the gun. Oh, I guess it just wanted me to open it. Kinda dumb. Look, it's a picture from Egypt. I need something sharp. Okay. Isn't this sharp? It's not. We couldn't find another bullet and shoot, but I still don't think it's going to let us shoot James. That knocked the knob off? 
Yeah, that's pretty gross. Here, use the knitting needle to wind up all the stuff. No? Are you going there? Hmm. Is that Mott or Matt? The goddess Mott personified truth and justice in ancient times. She taught people harmony and ethics. Okay. A straight razor. Oh, that's pretty cool, Kane. I can try to break into this desk with a knitting needle. I don't think that would work. This chest certainly has an interesting lock. It just looks like it's all lock. If you put a... Um, not a sundial. Oh my gosh, brain. Where did you get that from? An hourglass in there. It's going to take up like half the space. I don't think they had radios or electric desk lights yet. Pretty sure. All right, let's see. Brain teaser, thermometer, and three dice. Dice, dice. Brain teaser, huh? This? No, oh, okay. Uh, brain teaser. Thermometer and another dice. I need a thermometer. A dummy. A watch and three rulers. Yeah, I think... I guess they didn't look like that, though. That's... What is... Oh, that's for this. That's part of the thing. It's like they have some of this stuff right... But this is obviously a modern desk lamp. And this is obviously not a radio from whenever it is they think this is happening. I don't remember what I'm looking for. Brain teaser, dice, watch, ruler, megaphone, mechanical top, ship, and a wrench. Watch. There's a chessboard, another ruler, wrench. What is this? That is cool. Megaphone. They definitely didn't have megaphones. That's just silly. Nice. I guess that was the brain teaser. Okay. And a ship. Where to ship? Oh, and I need a circle too, which I imagine. Yep. Actually use a compass in one of these games. You always have to find compasses because they are... Easy to confuse with things, because you might be looking for a different kind of compass than they want you to. I don't think I've ever used a compass in one of these games. Also, I don't see a ship. And I am not looking wherever it is. Where is it? Oh! Yep, I wasn't looking for that at all. Is a paper boat. Yes. Alright, we got a wrench. Search every corner. Okay. This house sure is steampunk. Abraham certainly has good taste in reading material. Nearly all of these books are rare first editions. Why did you feel the need to write that down? Okay, we need watch hands for that. Can I use the cane to knock that stuff out? No. All right, what's in here? Okay, that took an interesting turn. A candlestick, yeah. Okay. Ha! Huh. Alright, I guess we can use a straight razor here, yes. And now we need an onk. Let's steal the art. No, let's just damage it beyond repair. That's more fun, apparently. Okay, what do we got now? We have all kinds of stuff now. Where does this want us to go? In here. Still think I could do something to break in there. Oh, is this supposed to be a knob? Oh, that was easy. I think. Wait, what am I supposed to do here? To open the door, clear the vertical and horizontal bolts. Push the vertical bolt bolts to clear a path for each horizontal bolt. Watch for the arrows. They'll show you the order to follow. Oh, there's three of them. 
I knew that. No, go back. No! All right, I didn't get it at first. It's like, wow, that was really easy. Why is this? That's not newspaper. It's burlap. He's a bird. Nothing <laughs> like reading burlap. Careful, dry vines catch fire easily. I'm going to burn up all this stuff, huh? That doesn't seem like a good plan. I bet if they're dry, I could just move them. Okay, the thorns I get. The glove isn't enough to protect me from the thorns. Straight razor's not going to cut through sticks, guys. Even if it's really sharp. If I don't feed these flowers, they'll wither and die. I thought I was trying to, like, stop a murder. That is a very silly faucet. Oh, it's a frog! Aw, he went away. Oh, the badge is really stuck. Maybe I can free it with a blast of water. The faucet handle needs to be tightened. That's fair. Really? Good job, me. Froggy. He goes away. Okay. And Froggy came back. Uh huh. A moving statue. How can that be? I don't know. I don't think it can. Knitting needle? No. What, what do I need to do? I can't look inside until I remove these chains. Stop telling me stupid stuff. Wait, why did somebody here have the detective's badge? I still think he's in on all this. Oh, he's clockwork. Lame. All right, let's go back to the boat. Wait, where's the boat? Where's the boat? And figure out what is in the other part of the chest. A saw. Why are you locking that stuff up? Are you afraid someone's gonna steal it? Oh yeah, no, it's definitely dangerous. It's just not a ghost. Haunted hotel. Still not haunted. I am not stealing anything. I am borrowing it. And I broke it. Okay, I take it back. We break a lot of stuff in this game. Turn off the power to the light bulbs. Move the metal circle along the correct path from the electrified arrow to the upper right. The correct path includes all the screw heads and no repeated steps. Right. At least this time we're turning off the electrical bulbs instead of turning them on. Statue isn't threatening anymore. Now I continue the investigation. I must find out who's behind these nasty tricks. The dude. The dude is behind it. How did you get in here? Thank you, my friend. Just as I entered the gardener's bungalow, I heard something behind me. There's more to investigate here than meets the eye, and we still haven't found this Abraham shadowy. Yeah, we did. Maybe he can shed light on what's going on here. Here, take this. You are so clueless, my dude. Uh, there's half an onk. Ooh, screwdriver. Do I still have my screwdriver? Yes. And if you came in first, then you heard me behind you. What is that? My mechanical friend should be able to climb down there. I guess I'm not using this thing as much as I used the butterfly, huh? Butterfly was cooler. What is this? Fertilizer. Right, I need another section for the uh, scale. Ooh, who is this? Manchet? Manchit? According to ancient lore, Manchit 
goddess of war, has the head of a lion. Soldiers believe that she led their troops and protected them from the enemy. Cool. Something's going on here. I found a whole pile of shrouds. What on earth is Abraham planning? Has he gone mad? Probably. Those are pillowcases. Or sheets. Yes, he did in fact paperclip a leaf to the note. How can I break this lock? If you're going to break the lock, just break the glass. Look. Wrench. Easy. Something more sophisticated. Screwdriver. Psh. Whatever. The man who created this bird is remar remarkably talented. I will agree with that. Okay, I guess we get to go feed the plant for some reason. Be interesting to see why we're doing this. No, that's not how plants work. Also, hot punk. Aren't you supposed to not get fertilizer directly on the plant? Isn't that really bad for plants? Aren't you supposed to just make sure you have it in the dirt? Yeah, I thought so. Because if you get it on the plants, it'll burn the leaves and stuff, right? Let's burn up all the stuff. That's not how fire works. <sighs> All right, butterfly, paper lantern, three bells. Paper lantern. It's a snail. Why did I just hear a growl? Do I need snails? Yes, I need snails. Snail, snail. Bell. What was I looking for? My focus is getting unfocused. Butterfly, two bells. Lizard. I saw the lizard. Lizard. Clothes pin, snail. Mushroom, rope, origami, and stethoscope. You heard the growl too, right? Like it wasn't me picking up an item. I heard something growling. Yeah, that! There it was again! Weird. Alright. What am I? Oh, there's a mushroom. That's a cool mushroom. Rope, oh. origami, stethoscope, origami, paper crane, snail, and another bell, and a cut apple. And I need one more bell. Blue bell. Cute. Yeah, there's nothing here besides that bird. That bird was growling at us. Unless it was the frog in the pond. Seems unlikely, though. Okay. Where was the thing we needed the hourglass for? That was in here, wasn't it? Oh, maybe not. Okay. Where do we need to go? Oh. We have all this stuff and we don't need it in any of the other rooms we've already been to? Uh-huh. I still don't get the ancient Egyptian theme. We haven't really seen anything Egyptian related. Like, aside from a couple statues here and there. Like, why is everything Egyptian themed? And I have clippers. That would have worked. Oh, sure, those gloves will handle barbed wire, but they're not going to deal with some rose thorns. No. What did we just do? I need to remove the bolts holding this bottle of oil in place. Why are there bolts holding a bottle of oil? I can't take out the... Okay, no, you can't take out a cork bare barehanded. You are correct. That you actually need a specific type of tool for. Might be able to do it with a needle, but probably not. He's playing spooky music.
No, that could not fit underneath that reel. The reel is as thick as this is. Something shaped like this may help me open the door. Yeah, I, like I said, I, I take it back. We break stuff all the time. I apologize for my earlier comment. We do, in fact, break all the things. But to be fair, I don't care. I need something small and light. You want to be a little bit more specific? Okay, I guess we're still missing some weights there. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that flower was growling. Maybe there's a growling flower out there. Big bird. Oh. I thought you meant in the game. You're adorable. We are, in fact, back to the uh, Sesame Street in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Don't eat the pictures, which is amazing. And if you like Sesame Street, or if you don't like Sesame Street, it's awesome. Don't eat the pictures. No, no, no. I don't know. Can I get sued for copyright? Can I just get water out of the pond? It's not like I'm going to be drinking it, is it? Okay. There must be a growling flower over here, too. It's not a thing I would expect to say. All right, well, I got half, half the onk. Did I get the other half? No. And I need something. Okay, good. I'm gonna say, that's not a good way to handle situations. You can't just light everything on fire. Yep, just found it. Oh, there's the other weight. Okay. All right. Now, do I have to use all the weights? Oops. Because, I mean, if I take them all off, it's technically balanced. <laughs> Ooh, creepy. All right, fair play. That did, in fact, seem to be a mummy with an Egyptian pharaoh's headdress. That, that didn't look like Reaper. Reaper doesn't wear a hat like that. Incredible, just as you begin to think that all the threats here are human-made, something like this appears and destroys your beliefs. I need to figure out who's behind all this. The dude that just walked through there is behind all of it. Ram's been spending too much time down in the storage, always tinkering on something. I don't like it. <laughs> well, excuse you, it's his hotel. Sheesh. As soon as I find the rest of this code, I can open it. Okay. Wow, I need two things to remove corks. Huh. Don't need a fuse this long. What? Am I making a really poorly designed Molotov cocktail? Except that's not how you make one. I am not linking that in the description. And I'm not going to tell you if you want to know to go look it up on Google. I don't want to get sued. By the way, everything we talk about is in the description, except that. Only a powerful tool will cut through this gate. This is very weird. Why do we need to be over here? Oh, right. I could have just broke it more. Maybe I could pry it open with something. Ooh, a sponge. Ah, uh, I could pry it open with any number of things. Which one are you going to let me do? That one would work. That'd work too. Okay, let's see what's behind the Ankh safe.
I need some help figuring out the combination. Yeah, okay, that's fair. Right. Uh, what do we need to clean off? Oh, I am in the right place. That That's not what you use to clean off cobwebs. Gardener's amulet. Huh. I guess we need to go back to the garden. Or in here. Oh, that's for that box. But I can't get in there because you won't let me break the glass. Because you're a jerk. Wait a minute. Nope, that was something else. Where's... Yeah, over here. Ah ha ha ha. Oh, no way am I doing that eight times. Why is it my skip? Oh, right. This is not the game where I can choose to set the skip timer to zero. You know, I bet whoever designed this game does not know how to read Egyptian hieroglyphics. There could be some dirty words in there and we would never know. Actually, I know one. This is Tutankhamun. I'm 99% sure that's the symbol for Tutankhamun. It's been an hour and a half. Oh, I think we just stopped then. All right, here is a good time to stop. So we will stop. I don't understand why there is an ancient Egyptian mummy god person in either old timey New England or old timey England, England. I know that the people of Europe and America had a big fetish for Egyptian stuff back in the Victorian area. Yeah, I would have said England too, but James doesn't have an English accent. So, I don't know, maybe it's supposed to be England, but he can't speak with an English accent. But, so like, the Europeans and the British people and all that, they really liked Egypt stuff, but that doesn't really explain why there's one haunting a hotel here. So that'll be interesting to see about. Our mentor, I guess, James, is still as clueless as ever. So, yeah, he's getting all the fame and fortune and we're doing all the work. And we're perfectly fine with that. Like, we were all excited that we're working with this famous investigator. And we literally do all the work. He just comes in and says, wow, something you probably should have known already. Here's the thing I found. Go find more stuff. And then that's like all he does. So, yeah, not not a great detective. I mean, in, I guess unless you think about it, that he has in fact hired someone or actually he doesn't pay us. We're just doing it because we're friends with him. He found someone to solve all the crimes for him. So I guess he's not completely stupid. All right. So that was fun. We'll do more of that. I don't know how many episodes this is going to take to do, but probably at least three because we'll probably need at least one more for this game for the rest of this game and then probably one more for the uh, bonus episode. And then we have to do the bonus episode for the third Haunted Halloween, even though Halloween is over. I don't care. I want to finish it. I think that's all we have going right now. Pretty sure. I want to start mystery case files, but I don't know when I'm going to do that. And yeah, these games are something else, man. <laughs> All right. I am Fate Touched, and I will talk to you later. Bye.